Hey, Priority One Fishing here. We are on Henry's Lake up in Idaho, catching some tanks. We got a big one on here for you. So when we talk about rod selection, what quite a bit more important actually build the rod around the jig and the presentation to catch the fish, not necessarily the size of the fish. Give you a reference point, we have probably a fish that's gonna push the seven, eight pound mark here. And I'm fishing medium light. I mean, real, real light power class rod. This is a new uh, Clam Legacy rod. And it is absolutely handling this fish. So power of rod class to present the jig is way more important. So if I need to present a real small micro application for these fish to catch them, I mean, even a, a large fish like this, I need to be able to handle that presentation, the cadence of that jigging technique in order to catch that fish first. Then, <laughs> we can worry about landing the fish afterwards. And there are some advantages. You gotta get past some of those, uh, those core uh, you know, hook set points, some of those dynamics you have to worry about there. But other than that, you have way more advantages and way more control and better presentation with these lighter rods like this for small presentations. And we do have a few other rods that are set up. We'll show you some of those here in just a moment. For different applications, a different rod for about everything. When I get out on the ice, I like to set up three outfits. <laughs> I usually run a long rod myself for uh, search and destroy techniques. So you get out there and you're running some big baits and you're trying to present some large uh, presentations to call those fish in. But got some noisy ice too. <laughs> Once you get those fish into the area, then it becomes more of a finesse game. That's where those medium power rods for uh, one eighth to one quarter ounce presentations, about 30 inches in length, and then down into some of your micro or your quick tip selections as well, so you can present those real light ones. And that's kind of what we got this one on. Just an excellent fighting fish. Very short season through the ice up here. Usually get ice right around first part of December. They shut it down in the first week of January. First, second week, first week, I think, I believe, yeah. Yes, yep, January 1st. So, good ice, though, on this one. We're sitting on almost 10 inches of ice already. We're in the second week of December. That is a toad. Might even go bigger than what we think he is. I think he will. Fish is testing the drag on that Summit XT as well. Huh? Absolutely. Drag selection on a reel is one factor too. We talked about that. When I select my reels to fight these fish like this, I look for a reel that has a very low inertial startup on the drag. And this one's a Japanese oiled felt drag. It gives me near zero inertial startup. Also, temperature changes, not affected by changing temperatures, condensation, doesn't expand or contract with those temperatures like you'll see some of your drag plates do. Woo. And then uh, material of the reel itself. Sorry, little technical difficulty there. We're talking about the reel construction. We may need to drill a second hole here. <laughs> I think we'll be okay if you can get a second Yeah, we'll be okay. So reel construction, drags, and then the frame and the housing the rotor, the bail trip, all those components, it's important to find a reel that you have the same construction throughout. What that's gonna give you is consistency with that temperature again. If you're outside of a shack, you don't have those materials expanding into each other because they're made out of different construction. You end up with bail trips that fail. You end up with uh, your anti-reverse that fails when you get in those cold temperatures. So hopefully we can catch this fish on video. We're gonna leave it rolling while we try to get this fish through the hole. It's close, but not quite. Right. <laughs> Priority one fishing on Henry's Lake. We got an eight to ten. We got an eight to ten right here. It's easily. It's a hog. It's an absolute hog. Oh, might even be bigger than that. Yeah. He's probably gonna get out. That's over ten. Come on. He's about six inches. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Take a look at that. Henry's Lake, Idaho. That is a beauty. Six we, pound test, medium light rod. Absolutely. Highly recommend that. That is a toad, buddy. <laughs>
Good stuff. It's rolling. No, I know it's rolling. Well, if you release him, you got this, the record by two and a half inches. Really? It's right there. What is it? 25? 25 and a quarter. 25 and a half. For catch and release state? Yep. That is incredible. You don't know it? Oh, really? He's kicking. He's kicking. Let's give him a second to...